Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the structure activity relationship of 4 amino quinoline. 4 amino quinoline, which was is one of the class for the anti malarial drugs. This is the basic ring nucleus for the 4 amino quinoline. Quinoline, we know that this is the heterocyclic ring nucleus in which the benzene ring is fused with the other heterocyclic ring. Uh, in this, you may observe the nitrogen is acts as a heteroatom. The numbering of the ring will start from the heteroatom nitrogen 1, 2, 3 and at the fourth position you may observe we have the amino group. This 4 amino quinoline is used as a starting point for the synthesis of the various derivatives of the anti-malarial drugs. And uh, with the substitution at the different position you will observe in this lecture that uh, we can we have the different type of anti-malarial drugs. So let's check out the SAR of 4 amino quinoline. So the anti-malarial drugs which belongs to this class are the chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, amodiaquine, and the sontaquine. And uh, now we have to explore the different functional group which are present at the various position in this 4 amino quinoline ring nucleus. At the 7th position, it is known in the literature that at the 7th position, electron withdrawing group is essential for the high potency or activity of anti-malarial drug. So as in this nucleus, you may observe we have the chlorine, which is one of the halogen electron withdrawing group. And uh, due to this, it is essential for the activity. This chlorine at the 7th position is common structural feature of all these drugs chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, amodiaquine and the sontaquine. Next is the at the fourth position the dialkylo amino side chain is essential for the antimalarial activity. So all the these drugs have the some kind of the side chain at this amino group which is at the fourth position and you will observe that uh, in the upcoming slide that we have the different carbon side chain at this fourth position and uh, this is also essential for the optimum activity of the anti-malarial drugs this is the chemical structure for the chloroquine chloroquine is one of the four amino quinoline anti-malarial drug you may observe in this that we have at the terminal side chain we have the tertiary amino group this is the tertiary amine group and uh, to which there are the two ethyl group attached these diethyl group are optim essential for the optimum activity of the chloroquine and due to the presence of these two ethyl group which are the alkyl group the metabolism of drug uh, by the phase one reaction will occur by the nd alkylation by the help of enzyme cyp3a4 and d6 nd alkylation you know that it is one of the reaction of the phase one oxidation reaction for the detail you may check my lecture on phase one metabolism reaction medicinal chemistry and uh, beside this uh, the at the four amino side chain the dialkyl amino side chain is essential means uh, there should be a two to five carbon atom side chain between these two amino group and this carbon side chain is essential for the activity specifically this diethyl amino butyl side chain you may observe one two three four this is a four uh, carbon side chain between the these two amino group and this is essential for the anti-malarial activity of the chloroquine beside this we have the electron withdrawing group at the seventh position which is the chlorine this is also essential for the anti-malarial activity of the chloroquine so if we are going to remove any of these group in case of chloroquine the activity of chloroquine will be affected now let's check out how this activity is affected So now in other derivative of 4 amino quinoline that is the hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine is the drug which is synthesized by the substitution of hydroxyl group at one of the terminal ethyl group. If we are replacing one of these uh, ethyl group with the hydroxyl group and uh, the new derivative will be synthesized that is the hydroxychloroquine. 
So this is the chemical structure of hydroxychloroquine. You may observe that in the terminal ring, we have the hydroxyl group at this end position instead of the ethyl group, diethyl group. We have only one ethyl and one hydroxyl group. So this results in the derivative. This is the hydroxychloroquine drug. Hydroxychloroquine drug is comparatively less toxic in comparison to the chloroquine drug. Apart from this uh, difference, all other structural features are similar to the chloroquine. They're like uh, it has the chlorine at the seventh position and beside this it has the same uh, uh, butyl side chain between the two amino group. And if we are replacing the ethyl group instead of hydroxyl with the methyl group, then a new derivative will be synthesized, but that derivative is highly toxic. It causes the more hepatotoxicity reaction. So that's why its synthesis has been banned. Quinoline nucleus related substitution. So now let's check out what will happen, what will be the effect on the activity of the drug when substitution is made in the quinoline ring nucleus. If we are going to substitute the, at the third position, with the methyl group, a new derivative will be formed that is the sontaquin. Sontaquin is one of the antimalarial drugs that belongs to four amino quinoline class, but uh, it is less toxic, but its activity is less in comparison to the chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. But the advantage is it is less toxic in compared to them. And at seven position, we have the chloro chlorine functional group halogen electron withdrawing group which is essential for the optimal activity but if we are going to replace it with the methyl group which is the electron donating group then the activity is completely lost means a less potent derivative will be produced so this chloro functional group at seventh position is essential for the optimum antimalarial activity and beside this, if we are going to substitute the eighth position with the methyl group, it will also result in the loss of activity. So this eighth, uh, eighth position uh, must be left unsubstituted in the quinoline ring nucleus. This is a chemical structure of ammonia coin. Ammonia coin is synthesized by the uh, substitution of the aromatic ring in the alkyl amino side chain. In this uh, structure, you may observe that uh, in the side chain at the fourth position, we have the aromatic ring and uh, this aromatic ring uh, is responsible for the activity of amodiaquin. Amodiaquin is uh, uh, for aminoquinoline drug, its activity and toxicity is less compared to the chloroquine. So now let's summarize our lecture. For aminoquinoline antimalarial drug SAR is based on that uh, at the fourth position, the alkyl amino side chain is essential for the high potent antimalarial activity. If we are going to substitute this with the aromatic ring, the resultant derivative will be the amodiaquin. At the third position, if we are going to substitute with the methyl, a new derivative will be produced that is the Santaquin antimalarial drug. C at position must be left unsubstituted. Its substitution will lead to the loss of activity. And at the seventh position, electron withdrawing group or chlorine is essential for the antimalarial activity. Besides this, if we are going to replace it with the methyl group, it will completely result in the loss of antimalarial activity. The example of different drug belongs to this class are the chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, ammodiaquine, and sontaquine. Thank you.